Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today um, we're going to make this little treat box. It's called the Curvy Keepsake Box and you make it with Thin Lits dies um, and with a uh, Big Shot. So let me get my Big Shot and I'll show you how we start. Right, okay, so uh, first thing to say with this die, um, that is a little bit wide for going that way on your Big Shot. So my, my preference, just to be sure I don't damage my... Um, my framelit die at all is to put it that way round with the curvy bit at the top and the pointy bit going um, down the middle. Let me just line that top plate up to make my sandwich and I'm going to run that through. Now you need to have two of these to make the box. My piece of cardstock um, is six inches wide and this new cardstock is amazing. It's called, I've just gone to get the catalogue to show you, it's the Under the Tree Speciality Designer Series Paper. But it is not paper by any um, by any means. It is a heavyweight cardstock and I'm just loving it for making boxes of all sorts. Not just, uh, not just these, but absolutely fabulous for these. So I'm now going to get, to get the most out of my cardstock. I'm laying this on in the other direction. And my plates on there and run that through a second time so we've got two pieces. Now the other thing that this die comes with are three little tag images so I'm going to take one of those out. Um, I've stuck them on a little bit of magnet in there just to, to stop them rattling around in the bottom of the box. I like a bit of magnet sheet to hold my, my uh, frame that dies in place and I'm going to take now this is another little scrap of one of these other card stocks uh, one of these other card stock designs um, from the same kit so I'll do that and then finally I'm going to take the 7 8 punch and cut a little scallop circle piece there okay let's move this out of the way Now, to assemble my box, um, I had a little bit of fun with this to start off with. You've got score lines on here, and at first I was scoring, I was, I was, I was reinforcing those score lines like there was no tomorrow. Um, but I found, actually, you don't really need to do that with this particular box. Pop out the little, there's a little slot and a little hole on your two pieces, and you're going to assemble them so the pieces are opposite. So we're going to have the, the um, dark brown on the outside of this box and the crumb cake colour on the inside. And put some Tombow on there. And then I'm going to lay this on the top. And what you want to do is just make sure it all looks even. So they're, they're kind of symmetrically opposite each other. OK, put that box together. Now I'm just going to set that aside um, for a moment as I was a bit heavy handed with my Tombow, It'll just take a moment to try and assemble my little tag. Um, I'm going to take some vanilla cardstock and I'm going to stamp with the soft suede ink and I'm going to use Very Merry. Now this comes from And Many More which is going to be, I know, one of my favourite new greeting stamp sets because there are so many. Um, like teeny tiny wishes, only not quite so teeny tiny, but equally the greetings all fit beautifully into the word window punch. So you just know they're going to fit all sorts of other punches as the word window is quite a diddly one. I'm just reaching for my soft suede dauber and I'm just going to give this a little bit of daubing. Give it a little bit of a, and which way round we have that one and then that one I think so I'll put a little bit of soft suede around the edge there and a little round here just for a slightly little vintage look going on so pop that one on there a little line across and this one on here we made this project at my team training last night. 
my lovely dazzling dreamers. And they all liked this little box. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these rounded ends and we're going to fold those backwards. I found if I'd done that fold it made the construction a lot easier. The pieces that are coming up first are going to be these pieces and this if you give them a little kind of push to make sure the edges are rounded those pieces join together in the middle like so. You don't need to glue them or anything just hold them in place and then you literally just slot that over the top and it kind of hooks, there's a like a little catch um, in the die cut so that it just hooks. Isn't that pretty? And so easy. If you wanted to hand cut that it would take you forever. Um, then I'm going to grab some a little bit high up, some linen thread And I'm just going to attach this. Now, if I attach this through the handle, that's absolutely fine as long as I'm happy for somebody to cut that off in order to get the box open. Because once that's once you try to pull those back over, it's gonna to have to go over the labels. Does that all make does that make sense? So what I prefer is I'm taking this little um, handheld punch, and I think this is the eighth of an inch one, make a little hole. And then I can feed my linen thread, one of my um, ends through there, if it behaves itself. There we go. Make sure my greeting is the right way around. And then I can just tie a little knot in the top here. And Cut that off, and then we've got the little little merry box. So let me show you a couple of other examples of this. So you can do it in regular designer series paper. Obviously, not quite as strong as the the, the super strong cardstock. Um, you can do it in regular cardstock, and here I've done some emboss resist technique on there. Um, in the catalogue, it shows a version where there's this, the inside has been decorated with washi tape. So that's what I've done on this one. And finally, super pretty, this is done with the glimmer paper. But I am going to warn you, if you want to do this, you need to scrape off some of the glimmer on the piece underneath. Otherwise, you struggle to stick the glimmer. Otherwise, it, it pops open. So you need to scrape off some of that, that glimmer if you want to do a glimmery one. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed your visit to Elizabeth's craft room today. I hope you've learned something and I look forward to seeing you again soon.